Hey guys, my name is Rebecca Romain Stamos and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing unicorn. Yes, it's covered in buttercream. It's looking pretty good. So let's get started. Now to create this cake, I'm creating my basic animal shape using my PVC pipe system. If you want an in-depth look at how I got my cake to this point, then there's a video for you in the description box as well as in the comments. It's pretty simple, pretty, pretty simple. Now with most of my animal cakes, I'm just using two half dome cakes, but for this, I'm using my egg shape mold. And because of that, to create the head underneath my egg shape cake, I'm using an avocado shaped piece of cardboard just to be able to support the head more since it's a lot longer. And I'm adding support system into the middle. Then I finish it off by cutting down the PVC pipe and adding on the second egg cake. This egg cake was too big, so I cut it down a lot. And then I reshaped it just a little bit to make sure that it looked like a unicorn head or a basic oval egg shape. Basic shapes, nothing fancy, but it's still very rewarding. Then came my crumb coat. Now most of the cake is covered in buttercream, which I'm very excited about, but there are some fondant elements. I'm using some fondant to create my unicorn snout, its eyes, and later on I'm gonna use it to create some ears and some horns. Now usually with my cakes, I place them into the fridge to set up before I start adding all the decorations. But because this is an icing cake and I wanted to see how safe and secure the structure was, I decorated this entire cake while it was warm. <laughs> it's getting so hot, California. Oh my God, you guys, I was scared. But it actually held its shape, so I'm happy about that. So I have a basic Wilton star tip and I'm just adding texture little by little to cover my entire cake. It takes a lot of time, very tedious, but it's super simple. You can definitely use a different textured tip, but this makes it look like a doll that's been knitted together, and I love that. Once I finished covering my entire cake, I'm using fondant to create the ears, and then I moved on to my favorite part. People always have trouble making like legs. I w Let's simplify this, all right? Instead of creating the legs out of fondant, I'm just using Twinkies that I cut in half. So we got two for the front, and then I'm using two more for the back legs. And then covering it with some buttercream. That way I don't have to worry about the shape. I just have to make sure that I'm cutting the front legs and the back legs the same length. After I finished with that, I added my unicorn horn and I started to create its mane. Now this is Sina the unicorn. You saw the baby Sina with its head lying on the cake board. She was a baby then, but I wanted it to look like she was you know, she's getting a little bit older, going into middle school. But she still has all of those signature traits that make her look super cute. After that, I added some sprinkles and two white pieces of fondant to give Sina some catch lights. And voila, my Sina cake was complete. I love the texture of the buttercream. I think it looks fantastic. I love that there's fondant on this cake, but it's used very sparingly. And there's Twinkies, you guys. Now I wanna create a whole bunch of animals and mythical animals using this technique. So I'm curious, what animals would you like to see me create next? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace.